I first um, thought of this idea when I was doing research for a book on old photographs of, of China taken by the colonialists. Photography originated in the 1850s, the same time as colonialists and travelers and um, missionaries went to China. And they took a lot of photographs of the Chinese as the exotic other, um, which they sent back to Victorian England. And um, they built studios around Shanghai and Beijing where they photographed their subjects. I thought it would be actually quite fascinating to reverse the situation into 21st century Hastings in England, <laughs> but with, uh, within a context of a Shanghai studio. This is my uh, backdrop that I've got up, a picture that I um, asked a theatre designer to do for me. It's based on my research at the Brighton Pavilion. My project, in a sense, uh, is a critique of the colonialist vision uh, of the Oriental other, in, in the sense that I am creating a, 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 a hasting-like other, if you like, and, and actually selecting people that I consider exotic on the streets of Hastings. And although we, we've also included a lot of very, quote, ordinary, unquote, families um, to break it up, which I hope will, will show the, um, the scope of Hastings' population, I'm, I'm also hoping that the, the more um, exotic people will be emphasized in the exhibition, in the final exhibition. And we'll put the pram right in the front. Yeah, right in the middle, on top of the panda head. How about that? As long as it's not obscuring you. I wanted to be photographed because it's just, to, it's just a vanity thing. <laughs> That's great. Actually, I like the backdrop, and I thought it was a very interesting and unusual backdrop to have a photo in front of. Oh, that's nice. OK, look in the camera. Very serious. It's about time that we did start having more understanding and knowledge of what is going on in China. And this is the first instance of something like this in Hastings, particularly for the people of Hastings to, to get an insight. So it's quite an important event. Would, would you not like to be photographed as well? Free photograph, you get a free print. Okay. That's lovely, thank you. Hang on a second while we do a digital. Um, this is a photo that Grace has collected. She um, researching her book, which led on to do this project. There's one where he's staring a bit. Bless him, he's been standing there for ages. Very slow shutter, so they have to stand there for a long time. So I'll send you three copies so that you can have something, you know, like, that you all have copies in. Oh, okay, thank you. But we'll put your photograph on the wall. It's a shame you don't get to see that, but lots of people come in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. to show at the end of this exhibition at least 200 portraits um, which give a profile of Hastings regeneration seaside town, a 21st century regeneration town. There's a shifting population here and they're moving on all the time but I would like to, to actually um, to, to preserve an ar archive of the 21st century sort of seaside town during summer. Um, and I think it's going to be, Hastings is going to be changing every year. So this will be a, a, a record. 
Being part of a current archive is a kind of a curious sensation because one doesn't imagine oneself ever being part of an archive and to be archived is somehow in my mindset, which is probably rather old fashioned, it's been put into a dusty filing cabinet somewhere which I don't think is going to happen to my pictures but it's how it feels, yeah. The concept of being Western, if you like, but with a, with a Chinese backdrop has got to be interesting, the juxtaposition between the West and, you know, the, the Orient, for want of a better term, and the fact that it's going to be around for, hopefully, for years to come, and people will be seeing it in years, well, years from now. It's great. eventually to take my portrait studio back to 21st century Shanghai, where, of course, the subjects will be local Shanghainese, but they will be very modern Shanghainese, not like the 1850s. There won't be any coolies or opium smokers. <laughs> mm -hmm.